when I read the comments from the last video, the what CB aerials that we all use in the mobile ones, there was a lot of good comments and feedback on aerials, and I decided to collate that all together and put a video together with it in to help anyone who's thinking of getting into CB radio, buying an aerial, changing their aerial, and just get recommendations. You know, these are what guys are using out there, and they're recommending them and giving good reports back, so they must be okay. So I collated all the information together. I was hoping to get one of our famous Venn diagrams in. You remember them from school? I've never ever used one since. And as much as I tried, I still can't use one here. Um, so I did a bar chart instead, showing the top three aerials they are and their prices. And I'm going to do a few. Um, and I'm going to do a little rundown, showing the specification for each of the antennas as well. It's quite surprising results. It, it wasn't what I actually thought would come out top, but the one that's come out top. It's actually quite a cheap antenna, but it's got really good feedback from the field, so it's definitely worth considering. It's based on a, an old style antenna from back in the 80s, and that's probably the longevity and what's made it so popular. It's tried and tested. And obviously the good thing is, when you're starting out, it's not that expensive to buy, and the feedback from the, out there in the field is pretty darn good. Okay, so let's go to the bar chart and start looking through at the information from the results. So in third position um, became the Wilson antenna. Uh, retails for $62.95, uh, so not that cheap. Um, but again, good feedback, um, and this came out above all the others that you can see to the right there on the chart. So in second place came the Springer, um, $16.79, so not a bad price for an aerial, and these are practically bulletproof. They do move around a lot when you're driving, so you need to bear that in mind. And they are quite a, quite a heavy antenna. Um, and in first place came out the Red Devil. It's a, or a modulator type antenna. $29.99. It's got a massive base loaded coil on it. And this is the one that most people out there are using and gave good feedback on. And I have to say I was genuinely surprised on that. I thought the Serios would be up there. But they came in at fourth. So they're not there. So... Consider a Red Devil Stroke Modulator type aerial for your next type of aerial because that's the one that's being recommended by actual people using CB radio. So if you're going to get one, go out and purchase one. Get one up on the car and uh, it doesn't sound like you'll be disappointed. So it's only a little short video this one but I wanted to collect the information together because I thought this is good information and I'm not going to let this slip through without being put out there for people to use. And hopefully people will find this useful. Um, if it does help you get an aerial and you, you get one of the uh, the Red Devils or the Springers or the Wilsons, drop a comment below and let us know how you get on with it and whether you agree with the feedback that, that, that made you buy it. I'm not associated to any of these antennas. This is just what the guys out in the field said they're using. I'm using a Serio, so I would have been in box number four. So it's not, uh, not as popular as I thought. I thought Serio would have come out at number one. So very, very surprising. But again... Very useful information back from the field. So thank you to everyone who um, commented and gave their feedback. Really useful. And I have to say the award for the most unusual setup goes to the chap using the co-phase fire sticks on his van. One at the front, one at the back. Brilliant setup. Um, I wouldn't have thought anyone out there was still co-phasing. So top marks on that one, mate. Really appreciate the feedback. All right, that's it from me. Thanks very much.